Hello Capricorn, this is going to be your Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon and Rising reading for June 2024. I will have to read what I have to say, that way I won't forget anything. It, it, it helps me pronounce things better when I can read. So this is a general reading and the message will not resonate with everyone. Please check back to your Moon and Rising sign video. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can now find my packages in the about box section of my channel. H However, I have noticed that the about box section has been moved. Th there's no longer a tab. What you need to do, to do on desktop, you will see my custom link and right underneath there is my name with an arrow. Click the arrow to the right of the name and it will reveal the about box section this is true for both desktop and handheld devices once you get there I will have listed reading packages to include the number of minutes the number of questions and the price along with the delivery method delivery method all you have to do is email me at this address hidden lotus tarot at gmail.com and say to me for instance Tara I would like to have a 30 minute reading I will respond back to you letting you know uh, I have what the booking instructions are and provide a payment link once I receive the payment link back and the instructions responses to my booking instructions I can then conduct the reading my turnaround time is 48 to 72 hours after I've received the instructions on the the responses to the booking instructions and the payment link and your payment uh, and because I don't w make people I don't believe in make them making them wait for their readings I have seen some people who will go to a tarot card reader or engage the, their services and they tell them that it's a month or two out well usually if it's a month or two out your situation has gone away by then and you can't get the counsel that you may need so that's why I don't make people wait. Okay, I have with me today the Radiant White deck. La Vera Sibila for clarification should we need. And we will wrap the reading up with a Psychic Oracle Tarot. The first thing that I need to do is to light a candle because it always helps to bring down the guides a little bit of light and we will light an incense to make it smell good okay I have already done some meditation and shuffling on your sign and glyph and I will turn the camera around again so we can get started with the reading. I'm going to shuffle and rifle once more. Give it a good rifle. This will be nine cards down. 
Let me cut the deck. And deal the cards. Here we go. The first card out is the Hermit. <clears throat> the second card is Three of Coins. Next card, the Two of Swords. A nine, three, and a two. Next row, the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> the Chariot. The Ace of Swords. And that's literally saying to me, you're going to get over whatever it is. That row right there. The Hermit, I mean the Emperor, the Tower, and the Star. Wow. That's five Major Arcana cards. And the Major Arcana are our spiritual lessons. What lesson do you need to learn about what this what the experience is I have three swords and one coin so this is really a, about thoughts perceptions beliefs ideas communication and either finances or the doing of something the third dimension so what is over the whole reading the ace of Pentacles Let me start in the center with the uh, chariot card. Usually it's a seven. And so usually the sevens represent a moment where you stop and question yourself. Are you doing the right thing? Are you going the right direction? Should you or shouldn't you? And so there's a lot of questioning your motives, self motives. But the chariot is a vehicle. And <clears throat> if you know anything about chariots in the olden days, it was a long, dusty, hot road and quite dangerous. In which you had to take your journey. You traveled or whatever, in war or whatever. And so the message of the chariot is that if you can control your emotions, it's a card, it's cancer, it's a water card. If you can, can control your emotions, you can go through anything in life, so to speak. You will pass along through it quite freak, quite easily, easily. There's something else that the chariot is trying to tell me right now, but I can't. Um, say what it is but l let me address something that I see right away and I would be remiss in saying not telling you about it sometimes I've seen the combination of the chariot and the tower to speak about a car accident a motor accident so if you are traveling at the time that I you hear this message please be careful I once did a reading for a girl where the chariot and the tower came out together and I mentioned this to her the fact that sometimes it represents a car accident she told me she was sitting in a Starbucks with a friend when this car came crashing through the window uh, nobody was hurt but an old lady her foot accidentally pressed on the gas instead of the brake and she entered the building with the uh, where my the client was sitting and she emailed me back and she told me about that it happened she said she didn't believe me when I told her it can sometimes mean a 
car accident, but there was my proof. So know that that's what I see when these two cards come out together. I have to make you aware of it. So the cards are read past, present, future. Past, present, future, and the interplay of the cards. And we start off in the past row with the nine, a hermit. And the hermit is somewhat same energy as the seven. It means that it's com focusing on a completion of events because it's a nine. But this card is about contemplation, meditation, sometimes isolation, where you have to either remove yourself from a situation so that you can meditate and can clear on it or it can indicate that you are separating yourself from someone isolating yourself and the hermit is not only a teacher or a scholar he's also a teacher see this star down here this is the same star that he has in his lantern and to me that signifies that um, maybe themes of hope and healing ha are coming through for you Capricorn because whatever this situation is he can also he is a teacher because not only is he trying to find out what the truth is for himself but he has a light to shine out in the dark so that other people can come to him and find out what he's learned how did you handle this situation when you had one like it hermit well this is what i did uh, okay so the three of pinnacles is usually a card that talks about it's a three there means uh, that means that there can be more than one person involved in the situation and that future there'll be, be delays before future successes are realized but the card speaks about the building of something for tangible no matter what it is and it can talk about uh, going over plans, asking advice for plans, taking your plans to somebody to help you understand what you need to do. Look at the image on the card. The nun and knight, I mean the nun and priest, are taking their plans to the craftsman. So it also has a, a history about learning new skills or doing new skills a craftsman and he is on a bench so it means that he has a little bit more knowledge than these two right here but it's definitely a idea of you some about taking your plans and having them looked over and coming to an agreement but somehow or, or another you feel that you don't have enough information to make a decision and not making a decision is making a decision it's a choice which is okay it's a two and twos represent um, a crossroads a decision a choice Oppositions, whether you are opposed within yourself, and I'd say that you are opposed within yourself about what's going on, or somebody is actively opposing you, maybe like, no, you can't do that. But it also said that there could be unsettling communications and a feeling feelings of confusion and not knowing what to do or which way to turn. So you are to rely on your intuition. Go beneath the surface and figure out what you feel about the situation and decide accordingly. That's why it's asking you to meditate on the subject.
I often see this card as a card saying somebody they may act like they don't know what's going on but the blindfold is only partially covering covering her left eye and so she actually does know what's going on maybe she hasn't seen anything to prove it yet but she knows something is going on the ten of swords look especially with these three cards i'm asking you to please be careful if you're traveling that message keeps coming across to me i hear it in my head usually the ten of swords it's a ten so it's about completion of events it turned automatically to an ace with this could be an ambush situation someone said something that was like overkill to you or they think something bad about you sometimes it can even be that you have a tension headache in your back shoulders neck lower back it can even be about travel over water by water around water near water a long journey but do know that the card says this is the darkest before the dawn it can't get any worse than it is he's trying to tell me something else I, I will come back to it and then this is followed by the ace of swords and the ace of swords is the most powerful ace in the deck and when it appears it says that something is going to change we see it right here it's going to change and there's nothing that you can do about it so the ace brings with it all the things on a mental mental plane it can be that you receive some message it could be that um, you've read something it could be that whatever it is it can be the excessive degree of everything meaning you there might be worry tension arguments but nevertheless something is going to change occasionally I will see the ring around the ace of swords like a like a marriage so this could be a contractual issue or you traveling on business like for some kind of contract here we have the emperor he is a four and he represents a sable foundation so it speaks about having the ability to be rational and logical sometimes as a profession the emperor is usually someone who is like a philanthropist he can be a coach or a mentor it's someone who definitely has his fingers a lot in business it doesn't matter what he has good advice to give about business affairs and two things that I like to remember about the Emperor and the energy that he's um, about balance one is that he didn't become the Emperor by being a pushover and being nice to everybody but he also did not become an emperor by being a tyrant and running over everybody so he's balanced he may have some kind of military training or use military tactics in his thinking and then we come to the tower and what's interesting about the last three cars two cars is that in the actual tarot it's number 16 followed by number 17 the star card and so what I'm feeling about the tarot the tower card in isolation is just that it 
represents an unexpected event. Something happening out of the blue. Something that there's no way you plan for it. It happens spontaneously. That is the energy of the tower. In fact, it has a Mars and Uranus. This is Mars and Uranus combination of fire and explosions. It could be even that someone has an emotional outburst. The crown, look how the crown on his head here and the crown right there. It's saying that maybe this is an epiphany thing happening. It knocks your crown off. Aha, it strikes you out of the blue. So that's what that means. Oh, that's what he meant. And I don't know if this crown is related to the same crown that the emperor is wearing, but it could be. And finally, we have the Sora card. The card of hopes and dreams and wishes and healing. But more than anything, the star card represents to me the ability to draw from your own well. Look at the imagery. And you have to be comfortable to do that. She's naked. And nakedness implies a comfort in your own skin or in your surroundings or what you are about. Now, the Ace of Pentacles over the whole reading is an opportunity. The Ace of Spades, I mean, the Ace of Swords is an opportunity too, where new ideas are going to come in, may come in. But the Ace of Pentacles can be about a new financial opportunity. But in doing something different, like taking a new path, going in a new direction. Okay, and offers some kind of offer coming to you, maybe. So, I don't have any core cards, and I can look at three of pentacles, two of swords, ten of swords, and the ace of spades. Why do I, I could call it the ace of spades? Ace of swords as they relate to these five and make no mistake whatever this is it's big because of the number of major arcana so there is some lesson to be learned here that will be taught to you perhaps by the universe or through other people so i'm going to look at the these cards We will start with the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles with the Tower. It's telling you to prepare yourself to make necessary changes to plans. Otherwise, there may be a loss in business or some negotiation. Next to the emperor, it may be telling of a clash of personalities, a battle of wills or disagreements particularly in the work arena that talks about the crown coming off his head. With three swords cards, three of pentacles with three swords cards, 
It may be indicate, an indication that some loss in business or finances is inevitable. You are asked to make the necessary and relevant changes. It indicates a clash of personalities within a work environment or a situation that may bring about disagreements and inability to compromise. I mean, you might land on your feet. You never know. <laughs> okay, the Ten of Two of Swords. You may have become involved in a dispute with a friend or acquaintance, but an amicable solution can be found. It may indicate some sort of power struggle. You are asked to weigh up the positive and negatives in a situation and make a decision, clear decision, or choose which will solve or at least alleviate a problem or situation. It may be indicating the breakdown of a once close relationship and there is an urgent need for balanced rational approach to the situation. There are difficult decisions to be made. To two of swords. Difficult decisions to be made. Tough choices. So take time to consider all options very carefully before making any firm commitments. Put off making choices until you are absolutely positive it is the right and most appropriate one. Unsettling communications. But the key to achieving a satisfactory, satisfactory compromise is by open and honest communication. Do not allow prior, prior grievances and bitterness to influence the communication. It also counsels you to show caution and restraint against making decisions you may later regret. Get out. I'm sorry, that was my dog. <laughs> now the Ten of Swords. Next to the Emperor. Implies that it is difficult to understand and comprehend how and why things happened or turned out as they have. Next to the Hermit. Just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I heard my dog was in my trash can in, in the bathroom. My little dog. And she broke the trash can. I was telling you about the Ten of Swords next to the Hermit. Indicates that a great deal of thorough examination and consideration is needed prior to taking on future activities and plans. There is a need for deep thought and contemplation and it is a message to consider all future activities before taking any action. Now well, let's look at the Ace of Swords. It tells me nothing. So, I'm going to pull cards, Sabilis, on, I think I want to pull Sabilis on the Two of Swords. It's in the future, it may be in the past column, but also past row, but shows up in the future column as if to say, once you become clear on what you, what action or decision that you make I think it's going to turn out all right and literally this same row said the same thing to me it's going to turn out all right but I would keep 
I'll be cognizant of this traveling over water or in a car and perhaps having an accident. I never get plain when I, I look at the chariot, but I guess you could say because of the wings on the front of the chariot above the yoni symbol see right there that there may could be a possibility of a plane accident too i don't like to think of it that way and the people falling out of the sky so I don't think that's uh, it's going to happen, but you never know. So let's pull cards on the two of swords. We have happiness of the heart. And maybe that's the end result you're going to get. A trip a vacation. So that goes with the travel over water, by water, near water. And the Belvedere. Now that's an interesting, interesting card because it talks about the imminent arrival of someone or something that you've been waiting on. But while you are waiting, you should first look at yourself and see if there's anything you need to work on in yourself and don't be so quick to jump into other people's business but the fact that you are waiting whether it be on a message or a person or an event to happen it causes all manner of anxieties and tensions and fears I honestly believe this can't be true for everybody. Every Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising who's listening to the sound of my voice. But I do feel that everything is going to turn out all right. I think, too, that someone needs to watch. It may not be you. It could be a family member or a friend uh, that's traveling. To Please be careful. when it, One other time I did uh, a reading for... For one of my clients, this is the second time I saw that. Uh, she, I didn't know. <clears throat> she paid me to do a reading for her. But I didn't know that she was on vacation. That she was on a cruise ship. And I, she paid for the reading. I conducted it. And I kept saying to her, look, if you, be careful if you're on the water. I didn't know that she was. Be careful if you're getting on jet skis or being in the water or something like that i said because i see an accident i don't know if it's a boat crashing into another boat or whatever and she emailed me back three days later and she said she, yes she indeed was on a cruise but that the accident didn't occur on the water it occurred on the way back home where they were driving through the mountains and it had a blowout, blowout on the tire at 70 miles an hour. And she said they almost went off a cliff. So that's the way the cars work. I don't know if this is true or not. But just be aware that it's a possibility. Okay. And, and now I'm going to pull the Psychic Oracle Tarot. Oh. And two cards fell out. Patience and planning. And we know that perhaps you need to go back and think about something. And a power card, which is really the strength card. And there definitely is strength and power in learning to be cautious and move carefully and think about what you're doing. So I'm going to read both of them. The seven of uh, patience and Planning is a seven of pinnacles, and this is equated to the strength card. So, the seven of pinnacles. 
patience and planning. Good things come to those who wait. This card signifies the qualities of patience and letting go of control. You should now pause, rest, assess, and rethink what's in front of you before continuing. The number seven, as I said, reminds you to evaluate the goals that you are seeking, your finances, and even your relationship. Take the time to review each area one by one. There is no rush when you are planning for a successful future. As you pause during this period, notice what has worked, worked well for you in the past, not what you are, uh, or others believe to be true, but, is actual, but in actual positive experiences. While you are reflecting, while you're at this re reflecting stage, you can stand back and plan on how you are going to handle potentially difficult, complex si decisions and situations that may arise in the future. It's hard for me to say where to begin with R or moving from an R to an H. That's really hard. And now I will look at the strength card or the power card. As a spiritual being, you have unlimited, unlimited power at your command. This card represents inner strength, willpower, courage, compassion, generosity, and love. At any moment, these beautiful qualities can assist you in coping with an adverse condition in front of you or the many surrounding your life. Set aside the necessary time to resolve such issues. Power represents more than, than physical, external strength. It can also be channeled emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. When you have balance over body, mind, and soul, and with the power of spirit, Anything can be overcome to achieve a positive result. I think I said that. I did with the chariot card. Power and strength can be develop, developed to work in harmony in any given situation. Every obstacle, every error helps build your knowledge and understanding of the world around you. When you make a mistake, there are no mistakes in life. Um, they're just learning experiences. Let me start off. When you make a mistake, it's a chance for you to stop, listen, and ask yourself, what am I supposed to be learning here? And how can I make the situation better? Mistakes are great wake-up calls and that they provide you with opportunities to discover your weaknesses, what needs to change, and which areas of your life need improving. Equally, they can be blessings in disguise. Just rem remember, you are power. I, I always say, when you make a mistake, don't feel bad about yourself because mistakes are only learning experiences. When you encounter, you can say, after you learn the lesson, now you know what not to do because you've tried it before. So you try something different. You change w what the situation has become. So don't feel bad about yourself in making mistakes. We all make them. Some of them are bigger than others, but hopefully you learn what not to do next time. And that's what I have for you, Capricorn, Someone in Rising for June, 2024. Good luck.